There are so many ways to shade your home these days. Some of these new window treatments are high end and trendy while others are more cost effective. So we wanted to give you the basics on how best to pick the perfect window treatment for your home, whether it's to let the sunlight in or keep it out of your living space. So we are learning how to shade our home with Jason Rolchin from Skyline Window Coverings. And Jason, the first thing you told me is figure out how you want your living space lit, which makes perfect sense. Exactly. Yeah, so when we have someone come into our, our studio, we want them to start thinking of their windows a lot like light switches and dimmers. We just want people to stop and start thinking a light switch is one dimensional. You turn it on and off, and that's going to control the light very much one dimensionally. You're either going to calm it down a lot or you're going to brighten it up a lot. Um, and we also tell them to start thinking of them as uh, dimmers. And so a dimmer switch is much different than a light switch. Basically, you can vary in the amount of light and vary in the amount of privacy and ultimate control or the styling in a room. So if people start to think of them that way and kind of talk to us and communicate with us, light switch versus dimmer, if I was going to use this room, I think I'd use the windows and the lighting from the windows a lot like a light switch, then we know exactly what products to start taking them to. After you decide how much shade you want, it's time to customize those blinds. So many of our clients are so used to the cords being longer when you pull them and you just keep pulling and it starts pooling, so on and so forth on the floor. Vacuum sucks it up. So with this cord feature called Ultra Glide, it's manual, but you move it in 10 inch increments and it takes the cord back into its head rail. And that's what keeps it from getting longer and longer. And then when I want to lower it, I just simply click it and I, w I can walk away now in that shade of jazz. And there it goes, it's wide open. Yeah, absolutely, and then we have clients that say, listen, I don't like the asymmetrically of having one um, cord on one side, so I like them to be cordless. And this shade is just a placement system. So where I move it with my hand is exactly where it stays. And this one has top down, bottom up, so I can bring it down from the top, and I can also bring it up from the bottom. Once you've selected the type of shades that you want, now comes the fun part, color and texture. So Chrissy is going to kind of give us the 101 and walk us through what we're looking for when it comes to particular shades when we walk into the showroom. So Chrissy, I walk in, I say, I need shades, help me. What's the first thing that we're going to do? So we can definitely do that. Um, once you come into the showroom, we'll kind of give you a tour, show you all the different products that we carry, and then kind of start to introduce you to some of the most popular fabrics, and textures, and colors that we offer. What's trending right now? Is it the lighter colors, the darker colors, or kind of a mixture of both? So kind of a mixture of both. Um, right now, the trend tends to be less is more. So we've been definitely using lighter fabrics on the windows to harvest more natural light because the lighter it is, the brighter it's going to stay into the room. Um, and then we're starting to dive into some of the grayer tones as well that still live pretty neutral because a lot of people are transitioning from some of the browner tones to the, the whites and the grays. So this keeps it very neutral, but it's a nice backdrop to their existing furnishings. It used to be that we would use the same product and take it throughout the whole house, but now because everything's really customized in the home, we really customize the shades to the room. So it's not uncommon for us to have one specific product in the bedrooms and maybe a different one in the kitchen versus the dining room and the living room. So not uncommon to have three to five different shading options throughout the home today. Most shades can be opened or closed with a remote control, or even better, with smart devices like an iPad. These shades can move at any time that you want them to do. They can move based upon you coming into the home. So they have a lot of automation to them, and that's when we tend to really enjoy technology. Not when we tell the technology to move, but when it integrates into our life. And shading, since they control the lighting in our home, are a really big part of our, our living space, you know, and how we let that light in. So we very simply can take a shade and we go into uh, the living room shades here and I can drag my finger to the exact position I want those shades and it'll move those shades. So I can do it manually with my hands or I can actually send a voice command uh, or again, I could just have these come down at 2.30 in the afternoon to protect from the sun automatically. You can even get those rooms in your house ready for when you arrive. So if you'd like a child mode uh, to put all the shades up three feet from the little toddler sticky fingers, or you, you know, your pets that Fido just loves to see outside, we just set up a simple pet mode, and you hit pet mode on the screen um, by simply going to here and going to the room that you want it in and click pet mode. It's gonna move those shades at a perfect spot so that the dog can't uh, hurt them, but also the dog can see out and enjoy his life too.
So when you select your shades, make sure that you visit the showroom as well as schedule an in-home consultation. Also, remember the functionality of your room and how well you want it lit. And best of all, you can customize your shades based on your needs and your budget. For more information, visit our website, housemartstv.com.